one of the top players in the class of 2025, George McIntyre. George, kind of take me through where you're at in the process right now as uh, we hit the spring of going into your junior year. So I'm definitely trying to enjoy it. Um, I think it's definitely ramping up now that getting closer and closer to, to a decision. Um, kind of locked in some of the schools I'll definitely be looking at and going to go from there. When you're looking at schools and, and, you're, and you're going out and you're taking trips, what are you looking for? Do you, do you know yet? Are you at that process? Are you deep enough into it to know, you know I'm looking for this or that? So there's definitely uh, positives and negatives to every school, I think. Um, I think a winning culture and like a family feel is definitely something I'll be looking for. All right, obviously, obviously you're, you live in the state of Tennessee. Um, your sister's going to UT this fall. Your mom went to UT. That's the natural ties there. Um, what do you like about Coach Heifel and the Vols? Coach Heifel, I feel like he's brought the swagger back to Tennessee for sure. I feel like they've done a good job recruiting. And, um, you know, it's just it's really impressive to see what he's been able to do in just a short amount of time. You've got kind of got a who's who of uh, big names that have offered you, George, Alabama, you name it, you've got it. Um, what's that feel like when, when, when you get an offer from some of these big-time coaches? You know, what, what kind of goes through your mind as a 16-year-old kid? Yes, sir, it definitely feels good. It definitely feels like hard work's paying off. Um, I try to see it less as like, oh, I get to post this offer on Twitter. It's more just like an option to go to school. Sure. And uh, now that it's closer to being able, being able to choose a school, um, I feel like I'm blessed to have a lot of options. Whatever school you get, they're getting a, a kid with a lot of talent and a lot of potential. What do you think they're getting? Uh, I think they're getting a leader, somebody who can, who can win the game if we're down seven, 40 seconds left, something like that. How much confidence do you feel like you play with? A lot, definitely a lot, yes, sir. It, 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 I, to me, there's a difference between cockiness and confidence. And I, I, being around you, you seem like a humble kid, so it's more on the confidence line. So, you know, kind of where does that come from? I mean, you, I feel like, you know, whether it's basketball where you've had success, football where you've had success, when you step out on the court or the field, you feel like, you know, I'm going to be tough to be beat. Yes, sir. I feel like the confidence definitely comes from, um, I mean, sports have been my whole life, whether it's football or basketball. I feel like I put in more work than the person in front of me. So uh, if I feel like I'm better than them and I put in more work, then I feel like if I play at my best, nobody can beat me. Favorite part of football is what? Competitiveness. So. When, 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 you, when you're out there competing, is it as simple as like, you know, going against the backup quarterback in practice, throwing to a trash can, like you, you don't want him to beat you on any, in, in anything, you know what I mean? Uh, that's part of it. Um, I would say just, just being with the 11 guys you're on the field with, going against their 11 guys who y'all know you all both been in practice every day, you've put in the same amount of hours, but who put in the most work in those hours to, uh, to eventually win the game? All right, you, got, you, you play on this, you know, Tennessee Select 7 on 17. You, 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 you throw, you're throwing out here to Cam Sparks who played at Baylor. They just come off a state title. McCauley's won a couple before that. How much do you kind of ache to get that gold ball like they've got? Oh, that's that's the main goal for sure. Um, anything else would be a failure. That's kind of how it is at BA. We've had a rich history of winning and trying to get it back to that. In a perfect world, kind of how does this recruitment play out? I mean, if you had your way, when would you decide? Um, I feel like when I know, I know. Right now, I don't. But uh, I would say definitely after this this coming football season. So you think you know if if you know come December, you ain't gonna hesitate to go ahead and pull the trigger. Yes, sir. Exactly. All right. Well, that's the latest with one of the top flight players, quarterbacks, you name it. He is in the top twenty and on three nationally for the class of 2025. George McIntyre of Brentwood Academy. Yes, sir, appreciate it.